next session on Ansys Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze the pin of D shackle using static structural analysis. We will start by double clicking on static structural. We have already analyzed the D shackle for static structural analysis. Today we will see how to analyze the pin of the D shackle. So we will start by double clicking on engineering data. I am going to use stainless steel as the material. So first I will go to engineering data sources. Then I will go to general materials. And I will choose stainless steel as the material. I will go to project and update project. Next I will go to geometry and import the geometry of D shackle. Next I will go to model and double click on it. Here you can see that the D shackle and the pin both are present. So first I'll go to geometry and I'll change the material of both the D shackle and the pin to stainless steel. Next I'll go to mesh and I'll change the sizing to fine and update. Next, I'll go to static structural and I'm going to insert fix support. For that, I'm going to suppress the pin and I'm going to choose these two surfaces and these two as well. So, all the four surfaces I have selected. I'll click on apply. Next, I am going to insert force at the bottom end. And click on apply. I am going to define my component. The direction in the vertical direction is Y. So, I am going to insert a force of 12 tons. When you convert tons to newton, there is a website here which I am using. So when I convert 12 ton force to newton, it is 11.7679.8. So I will choose the value from here. And in the y direction, along with the negative sign, I will allocate the value. So you can see here, the value has been associated here. Next, I'll go to the shackle pin and I'm going to unsuppress the body such that I can see the effect of the fixed and the load that I have applied as the boundary condition on the D shackle and the pin. We are necessarily analyzing the pin here. I have already shown you the analysis of D shackle separately. But if you have the pin only, so how do you analyze it? That's what we are doing here. So next I'll go to solution and I'm going to insert deformation total. Also I'll insert deformation directional. The direction is Y along which I have applied the force. Next I'm going to insert strain equivalent. Also I'll insert stress equivalent. Now when I was giving these conditions for solution, you can see here the geometry was all body. It means all the bodies, that is the D shackle and the shackle pin, both were selected. So now suppose if I want to see for the pin alone, I will right click and insert deformation direction along the y axis. And here I am going to select the pin alone and click on apply. So I am going to get the results for the pin separately and here I will get the results for both combined. Again I will right click and insert stress equivalent. I will select the geometry and click on the pin and apply. 
also if you want to see the strain on the pin so you can do the same procedure apply then i'll go to solution and solve Now let's check the results. This is the total deformation applied on the combined body. You can animate and check the result. The value of total deformation is 0.25 mm. That's the maximum value over this body. Now you see the direct flow deformation on this body. It's along the y-axis. You can see the maximum value is 0 0.000103 mm. Combined on both the objects, you can animate and check the result. Now, suppose if you don't want to see the meshes on this body, you can go to the option over here, edges, and click on no wireframe. So, you will just get the body and the meshing will disappear. Next, if I want to see the result of strain over the body, it is 0 0.0104 and this is combined for the pin and shackle so you can click and just check the animated view of it next is the equivalent stress over the entire body the highest value is 2017.4 you can animate and check the result also you can click on max min to know where the stress is going to be more and where it is going to be minimum. Now, suppose if I don't want to see the results, I'll click on max and min again. Now we'll see the directional deformation for this pin. You can animate and check the result. You can also see the value of directional deformation along the y-axis 0.00103 mm for the pin. And the minimum value is minus 0 0.00625 mm. Next, we will see the value of equivalent stress over the pin. The maximum stress generated is 1026 megapascal. You can animate and check the result. The minimum value is 0 0.00012113. Now, over the pin, maximum area is of blue color. And it is rarely of red color. So you can just click on max min and you'll figure out where the value is maximum. So it's somewhere here. So I'll just click on this option once again. And I can see at this end there will be a bit of stress generated. Next we'll go to equivalent elastic strain for the pin. The maximum value is 0 0.00553. And the minimum is 6.37 into 10 raised to minus 10. So the value of strain is really less, but only in this zone, particular zone, you can see that the value is little high. So obviously the failure chances will be a little high in this zone. Now, suppose if I want to see the safety factor, I'll go to tools and I'll click on stress tool. Here I want to see the safety factor. If you see, it is showing all bodies. So now you will get the safety factor for the entire body and suppose if you want to find the safety factor only for the pin, go to tools again, stress tool. Now instead of all bodies here, you can just select the pin. So I'll just go to solution once again and solve for the results. So this is showing the safety factor for the entire D shackle considering 12 tons of load being applied on it. So you can see that the pin is completely blue in color except for a few zones but the D shackle is showing completely red color which means the factor of safety is really really less considering this load. So you should not be applying 12 tons on this body. Obviously the value has to be a little lesser for this D shackle. Now let's see only for this pin the value is actually 15 in most of the cases. Only in few zones you can see that the value is of different color. For example, here the value is maximum. Now this maximum means 15 and minimum here means this color. 
red and in some places you can see this green color which is showing a value of 5 to 10 and in certain cases it is showing a value from 1 to 5 that is yellowish color so this is how you're going to analyze now if you want you can change this value of load suppose if i say that the maximum load it can take is 9 ton so for that this is the conversion i'll again paste over here with the negative sign and go to solution once again Now you can check the rest of the values like total deformation is 0.19 mm. You can see these colors have been introduced and this value which was red, maximum red has reduced. Also you can check the equivalent stress over this body, it has reduced. We will see what is the stress over the pin. The value of stress has also reduced for the pin. It is 769.54 megapascal. That is maximum in this zone and most of the cases the value is really really less. I will see the safety factor for the entire body. You can see that it is becoming safer and for the pin also the safety factor is changed. So you can go on changing the force and reduce it such that this body becomes more safer and you will also be increasing the life of the body. You can alternately change the material of the D-shackle and the pin such that you are increasing the life of the shackle and the pin. For example, you can use alloy steel as a material such that it becomes more sturdy and the safety factor will also increase for the same magnitude of load that we have applied. So that's how you analyze the D-shackle pin for structural analysis. I hope you have understood the analysis. If you have any doubts, Please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.